let's go ahead and prove the angle angle side theorem. Um, so before we start, um, let's go ahead and just look at the fact that we're trying to prove that two triangles are congruent and let's write down the theorems or um, postulates that we have available to us to prove that. Um, so one is the side, side, side postulate. Then we also have the side angle side postulate. And in addition to that, we have the angle side angle postulate. So these are already um, postulates that we have available to use. Um, so if we can get one of these to work based off of our given information, we should be good to go. All right, so I've already listed this out and I'll, as I read it, I'll update my diagram here. So if angle A is congruent to angle X and angle B is congruent to angle Y and side AC is congruent to side XZ, then we know that the triangles are congruent. So we're trying to prove this, right? These are all our givens, and so I'm not gonna do a real formal proof here, but I will mark down these down as givens. And now we have to somehow use one of our other theorems. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm probably not gonna use side, 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 um, considering the fact that I already know, I only know about one side, it seems unlikely that that's going to be my best bet. Um, again, looking at this one, I need two sides to use the side angle side postulate. And like with this type of triangle, there's really no way for me to figure out an additional side. So that leads us to angle side angle. Okay, well, that means I know I'm gonna be using this side here. And so if I'm gonna do angle side angle, well, I've already got one of the angles, this one here and this one here. So that's angle and then side. And that means that my trying to prove that angle C is congruent to angle Z because then I would have angle side angle is congruent. So I want to prove that angle C is congruent to angle Z. All right, well, if I already know the two angles, ah, there it is. The idea is if the, the blue and the red angles are taking up the same amount of that 180 degrees that both these triangles have based off the fact that all three angles add up to 180 degrees. Well, if that's the case, then I know for a fact that this angle must take up the same amount of room as this angle because when I subtract out the two known angles, that's going to leave me with the same amount. And this is the um, two angle theorem, I think. Um, but we actually know this based off the fact that if two angles of two triangles are congruent, then the third angle must be congruent. Again, if that's not entirely making sense to you, um, let me go ahead and just do a really short example here. Let's say we knew that this was 30 degrees and this was 70 degrees here. And then we had another triangle that had the same angles. Well, for both of these triangles, we know that, let's call this X and this Y, we know that 30 degrees plus 70 degrees plus X has to equal 180 degrees. And here we know that 30 degrees plus 70 degrees plus Y has to equal 180 degrees. Well, based off that, I mean, again, hopefully this is, I mean, we can, we can solve it out, but if we have 100 degrees plus X equals 180 degrees and 100 degrees plus Y equals 180 degrees, well, the only way that that could work is if X and Y were the same thing. So sometimes looking at numbers can help out with that a little bit. Um, but then what we've now shown is that we know that these are congruent. Um, and based off that, we have enough to say that tri these triangles here are congruent. And we can prove that based off of the angle side angle postulate. And so we've now proven that if we just start with angle 
angle side, we can in fact prove that they're congruent. And so we can now add that to our important theorems um, list here so that we don't have to prove this every single time. I suppose that this is as good a time as any to mention one that you, you notice this has pretty much every combination here except for angle side side. There's a reason for that. This does not exist. It is not a way to prove that two triangles are congruent. Um, a quick, easy way of um, memorizing this is there is no ass in class. A little silly, but I don't know, it's always stuck in my brain.